war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right. Lately, I've not been getting into the stacks a lot on air. I want to attempt a smattering of important news stories I want to cover that I haven't gotten to. Like Nielsen ratings in a new scandal with fixed ratings. That's like a fish swimming in the ocean. I'm so shocked right now that the rating system is fixed. They have to. They basically have almost no viewers, except for passive ones that come across it occasionally. So they have to do this. In Arbitron, it came out, the Spanish radio stations, you wonder why so much stuff went Spanish the last 15 years? That was all rigged. That came out years ago. Because the establishment wanted that. And now they've been caught with Univision rigging everything. That's in the LA Times. You heard all the news I've thrown out the last two hours. Many of you have been listening. Or have you just joined us? Top story on Drudge. Sheriff Joe Arpaio, Obama's dumping of illegals, is intentional. Again, that's like saying that uh, the sky is blue. But it's important to restate the simple. See, a lot of us that know how all this works, we think everybody else knows. No, everybody else does not know. We need to keep restating the simple, the basics, and then adding the detail to it. Uh, Boehner is uh, running around and uh, saying the administration's uh, own making of this disaster. Well, yeah, they don't care if Obama gets blamed. He'll get pardoned. He's leaving office. This is about future Democratic voters. Shock photo, tinfoil blankets as hundreds of illegals arrive an hour. Scabies, chicken pox, cholera, drug-resistant TB. I'm telling you, we need to headline drug-resistant TB. That's what the ice whistleblower told us, and, and that's in our video. Perry, no room left for homeless Texans. Yeah, I drive by Home Depot all the time, and I used to see 15 illegals out front. I can send my crew in the morning to any Home Depot in Austin, but the one off 35 and 290. And, I mean, there's like 100 illegals standing out there. And that's at any one time because they, they can't even get jobs now. I mean, Mexico's collapsed worse than us. We're in a depression. Food prices are set to double. How long did I tell you we're going into inflation? When they did QE Unlimited, ladies and gentlemen, they printed tens of trillions digitally for the mega banks of dollars. They didn't print, but a few hundred billion for the general public. Doesn't matter. The elites had a plan to control inflation to only give it to themselves, so luxury items doubled and tripled. A BMW that was 60 grand five years ago is 120 grand now. A Porsche that was 60 grand is 160 grand. Rolexes that were $3,000 or $10,000. That's all happened. Real estate for the elite's gone up. But only the elite, the rest of the country, the poor, the working class, the middle class, have been eaten to the bone in this entire process. And it's only getting worse. And it only will cause more crime and societal breakdown. And, and what's the answer? Oh, don't try to fix Latin America. Don't try to build it up. No, no, no. Have they ever tried to get any good leaders? Overthrow them, put in leftist. Or if they get a good leftist leader, overthrow them, put in bad right-wing people. Because there's a good right-wing guy that's moral but didn't run by the West, they overthrow them. If there's a leftist who's good, they throw them out and put in a bad one. I mean, it just it, that's what Carol Quigley, Bill Clinton's mentor, head of Georgetown Political Science, wrote in his 1,100-page book, Tragedy and Hope, that's back in print that we sell at InfoWars store.com. You should go read it, but even if you don't, it's good to have as a collector's item to show people the quotes in it. You can find the quotes online, find the page number and go find them in there, where they admit the whole plan. How do I know how stuff works? Because only a thousand of those were printed for high-level CIA and State Department officials in the mid-1960s. Then the plates got out and thousands more got printed. They were unable to pull them back, and folks just print them as part of public interest, and I've read it. 
and it was meant so the State Department could understand the four-dimensional chess. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I could take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are some and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. So, two men have been arrested north of Austin in Round Rock for trying to get money, weapons, uh, allegedly, uh, to Syrian rebels fighting Bashir al-Assad. That's what the indictment says. One of them was arrested in Round Rock, the other in Houston, trying to get on an airplane, I guess, to go over there and fight. Our government's been funding these groups to attack Assad, giving them Stinger missiles, and then they arrest the uh, Al-Qaeda-affiliated nutballs, which they should be arresting the Al-Qaeda-affiliated nutballs for trying to do this if it's true, which it probably is. Instead of trying to grab my genitals at the airport or check baby diapers. And I had two former air marshals on yesterday, senior air marshals, who are causing the big firestorm nationwide, talking about what's going on. Gun running, just, just total you know, corruption, putting people on no-fly list for no reason. Just a federal government out of control. Remember all the Justice Department people and Homeland Security people that had to resign the last year? They settled the lawsuits, which means they didn't want to fight them. That women would dress up basically in dominatrix outfits and make the men grovel to them. And would make them office out of the bathrooms 
senior Homeland Security people. We're talking about deputy heads and people. Because in my experience, folks, studying history, how things work, most of these short-haired, you know, commando woman lesbian types really aren't even lesbians. I would, I, and I'm not knocking women out there. I don't, I'm not attacking you for your sexual issues. I'm talking about the type like Janet Reno or Big Sis. It's about outmanning men. And then when they get in power positions, they want A, to have sex with the men and B, to dominate them. And that's what was alleged. And that's what they settled over. And then you got all these other Homeland Security people caught trying to fly and meet people that have babies they can rape. That comes out every month or so. And senators are constantly getting caught with underage boys and not getting in trouble. I mean, it's just crazy land, folks. And then you've got Mexico where they're finding new mass graves. They found new mass graves today over the Texas border with dead men, women, and children where the Mexican cartels are robbing and killing and raping the poor people trying to get up here. It's just lawlessness. And then if I'm against total collapse, you know, libertarians go, Alex, you say you're libertarian, you should be for no borders. Mexico is a failed collapse state. The government's offering them free welfare. How is that free market to bring them here? They're above the law and then, see, because the law's still there and they still get the welfare. We're not in some libertarian state where you don't get any free handouts, then no one would want to come here but people that wanted opportunity. Switzerland doesn't just take you if you have money. I mean, if you've got like $100 million, they'll take you. But if you've only got a few million dollars, believe me, I've looked into it, and you want to move to Switzerland, you better have skills. If you're an inventor, if you're a scientist, if you're a Nobel laureate, if you're a Pulitzer Prize winner, if you're a journalist, if you are someone who's got something to offer, then you can come to Switzerland, even if you don't have a lot of money. And it is a wonderland of low crime and culture and quality. Look at the United States under collectivism. It is rotting to the core. See, I don't like rigged games. People say, why are you criticizing Walmart? They're free market. Really, I've read probably five books on Walmart, know people that have worked there mid-level and high-level, have researched their business practices and, and who they give money to and what they do. Their family's got more than $200 billion. They've gotten the tax laws written where they pay almost no tax, but then they give money to candidates that are promoting banker bailouts to take my money and give it to big banks they're invested in. Walmart would do things in the last 20 years. Now, when Walton ran it, it wasn't like this. When the old guy ran it, it wasn't like this. It had a lot of Made of America stuff. When I was a kid, and I've gone back and researched it, they had a lot of Made in America, and it had stuff people wanted. And Walmart became popular in the South and in Texas and in, in places like, uh, you know, up uh, Arkansas, where it came from, because it was a different animal. But the last 20-plus years, Walmart, here's just an example of crony capitalism, will come in, and we'll tell 10 egg producers in a county around the Walmart, take out loans, do all this to, to, to give us, you know, 10,000 eggs a week, and we'll sign a year contract with you. But they just told 10 groups to do it. Well, let's say eight of the producers upgrade. Now there's a glut of eggs. So what happens? They come to you and they say, okay. We will now uh, basically pay you at cost what it is. And they trick you to sign a new contract. Then they come back and they go, sorry, you got a contract to, to deliver eggs. Even though so many other places opened up, now you're losing money. And they don't care because then a bunch of them go out of business. But now all their competition is already out of business because the eggs were one-third the cost at Walmart that they were at any other competitor. That's called a monopolistic practice. John D. Rockefeller, competition is a sin. And Walmart has done that on every front till they're the only producer. And then soon they say, we're not going to sell ammo and guns anymore. There was such a backlash and you boycotted them. So they said, okay, we'll sell guns again. But the minute they can shut everybody down, they're not going to sell guns anymore. So that's my issue with Walmart. 